Hey guys, this is Jay Caldwell with Jay Unboxing here giving you a personal prediction for the Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk fight. And as always, this is just my take. Yours, of course, can be left down in the comments section. We'd love to hear them all. So, a little bit of fight info here. We have, obviously, Joshua versus Usyk taking place at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, England. Channel to zone here in the States with Sky Sports covering it on pay-per-view across the pond. Of course, taking place in the heavyweight division with the IBF, WBA, and WBO titles currently possessed by Joshua on the line. Now, considering this isn't a fight between Joshua and the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder winner, it's still a damn interesting heavyweight contest. While it's one that many expect to go one way, that sometimes doesn't matter. In fact, all that matters in deciding a fight is the fight itself. Usyk still has the skills to make it interesting, and worst case, you still want to see what Joshua can do with his most skilled and perhaps most psychotic opponent to date. So, without much more rambling, let's get into it. Starting with Joshua here, for Joshua to win, I think he needs to trade some power for more speed. Usyk is the naturally smaller and lighter man, will likely have the speed advantage. Joshua may be more explosive, but he's a tick behind Usyk in terms of overall speed. However, that can be neutralized to some extent if Joshua takes some of the power out of his shots in favor of letting his hands flow a little more freely. This will preserve energy, but it also allows Joshua to land more often, bust his man up, and ultimately set up those bigger, harder shots later on in the fight. I would also say look to land the left hook when Usyk steps in. Yes, that's right. Me, asking someone to land a left hook. Maybe I do have an unhealthy fixation with the shot, but it's just such a helpful tool, especially against a southpaw. While many will call the right hand the southpaw killer, the left hand can help set that shot up. Call the left hook the shot that helps the killer get away with the crime, if you will. As Usyk may have to lunge with less reach to land, the left hook could firstly score, but also line him up perfectly for that right hand down the middle that, of course, can alter the fight. And I would also say cut the ring off, don't just follow. And this could be the most vital of all of these keys. Odds are Joshua is going to be the one coming forward, which means he will need to do so in a way that best suits him and not Usyk. So many times, you see the aggressor following instead of cutting off the ring. If Joshua does that, he really gives Usyk his only chance of winning. It's simple. Not every step should be forward. A simple step to the side can get him cornered. Step to the side. Corner him. Make sure you're cutting off his escape routes. Just like prom night, that one-two step could lead to some big moments later on in the night. Now, for Usyk to win, I think he needs to look to implement the pullback left-hand counter. Naturally, Usyk wants to use his boxing technique and footwork to win him this fight, and he will have to. However, he will need to have a shot here and there that keeps Joshua honest, or he's going to be playing catch me if you can all night. Still, you don't want to leave yourself vulnerable as the shorter man with less reach. One shot in particular that you can land and land with authority in that situation is the pullback counter. Make your man miss, then pull back enough to avoid his shot. As you then step into fire backed, you have cut a lot of the distance off because he stepped in and the double impact of him stepping in and you firing off the shot could rattle AJ enough to keep him at bay. Also, allow your footwork to set traps and tire Joshua out. While you need to land and land big shots, as I mentioned, movement will still be key for Usyk. Usyk loves to dance in and out of the ring, and dancing will need to be done on the night. This, of course, will benefit Usyk in a couple of ways if he can utilize that footwork effectively. Firstly, it can tire Joshua out if he's aimlessly chasing and swinging in the wind, but also it can frustrate Joshua and have him stepping into traps where Usyk will most likely be ready to score with his biggest offensive bursts. And finally, don't be afraid of the inside. Usyk can't expect a completely clean fight. He's an undersized heavyweight. When heavyweights are made to miss and look a little bit silly against him, they will eventually catch him and corner him, get on the inside, and look to ragdoll him and rough him up a little bit. Usyk can't be afraid of that. Respect it, but don't fear it. Instead, land little annoying shots to the body or try to turn Joshua. Lean in with your shoulder, your head. Do anything to just make sure he's not comfortable in there just like you might not be, so that this way you both want to stay out of there a little bit more. Just don't let him manhandle you. Joshua is strong, so he can manhandle you if he chooses and if he's in on the inside, and he's also skilled enough to turn that into aggression that turns to punishment, so don't let him do that. 
Now, when it comes to my pick here, while Usyk is the sexy pick here because the Internet's in love with this crazy wild man from the Ukraine, and what's not to love? He's a hilarious man. It's, of course, not impossible that he wins. He's a very skilled fighter, but the fact of the matter is that a good big man typically beats a good small man. And at heavyweight, where a single shot can change the fight, even a very good big man can beat a great little man if he lands flush enough. And that might be what we have here. I expect Usyk to have some success, not in stretches, but in moments. But ultimately, the moment the moment you begin to get into those exchanges, and that begins to really be the kind of fight that we see, Joshua is going to have the difference maker leaning in his direction, which is, of course, power. Usyk will look to box and move, but Joshua will chase and ultimately slow his man down enough that he has to fight. When he does finally get to that point, Joshua's size and power will be enough to call a halt to the bout, probably with the left hook, that's right, left hook, right hand combination. AJV of mid-fight stoppage. Now, the betting odds for this fight are actually rather intriguing. While AJ is a sizable favorite, he's probably not as big a favorite as many people might predict or how this fight might even play out. There's a really good chance that if he lands something monumental on Usyk within the first three, four rounds, that could be the end of the fight potentially. But odds makers, of course, are giving Usyk the benefit of the doubt that that doesn't happen. So you have AJ now at a minus 280 with Usyk at a plus 205. Pretty even odds. I mean, if you're looking to place a bet on Usyk, you're getting decent return, basically double your money. You know, even if you're pretty confident in AJ, I mean, if you have a decent bit of change that, again, you got to always be willing to lose, but that you feel, you know what, I can place 300 bucks to win about 100 bucks back in this fight if you're confident AJ wins. I really don't see why you wouldn't. And you have all the reason in the world to be confident because, quite frankly, up till now, the Usyk that's performed at heavyweight does not look like the Usyk that performed at cruiserweight. So why wouldn't AJ beat him? Still, of course, you know, anything can happen, but some pretty interesting bets that people might potentially want to lay down. In any event, my prediction record going into the weekend is 31-10-3 with 10 exact. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Love to hear your thoughts on this fight. Uh, how do you think it's going to go? What do you think of the promotion to this fight? How big of an event do you think it's going to be? All those predictions, bets, so on and so forth. Love to hear them all. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow at jcaldorn underscore job. And you can email me at jayunboxing at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you there. Also, be sure to check out jayunboxing.com for schedule, results, betting odds, rankings, a lot of my videos there as well, so on and so forth. And as always, until next time.